I inked it. Um, sorry, in my last video, oh my god, I'm so close. <laughs> okay, forgive me. Um, in my last video, sorry about that. In my last video at the end, I said LinkedIn. No, I meant inked it. This is not for LinkedIn. <laughs> um, sorry about that. Well, this in this video, I'm going to talk about my first, the first novel that I put up, which is called The Soldier and the Stripper. Now, in this novel, uh, we meet, first we meet Clayton. Um, Clayton is 30 years old and he is uh, a, 20, a 22 generation vet, veteran, which is me, which means um, 22 generations before him went to war and came out without a scratch. Now, Clayton um, his fault. He's from North Carolina and um, uh, tall. Um, he he has dark hair and he he's gorgeous. He's um he uh he's really good looking. So Clayton, he doesn't. He he wants to go to war, but he's mostly doing it uh, for his father and to get his father's approval. Um, and then in the first two chapters, we see him as a as a school age child, and then we see him at sixteen. Um, and then we don't see him again until 13 years later. Um, and the female character, her name is, is Florence. Um, and, and she, her father is in finance and her mother is kind of like a socialite. Um, one of those rich people who um, don't really work, they go shopping they do all kinds of char charity fundraisers and uh, Flor Florence is very interesting because she she acts like she's happy being rich but she's really not and um, um, what happened is Florence and Clayton have known each other for years. They grew up together. In fact, the novel opens on their births. They were born on the same day. Now, they both grew up in this stifling, rich environment where appearances are everything. And you can't be yourself. It's all about appearances and money and what it would look like to other people. Now, something happens when they're 16 that pulls them apart, and then we don't see them until they're, they're 30. And when they're 30, they're, they're in two totally different places than they were when they were 16. This is a story of just, just God's restoration and how he can take any pain and any brokenness and turn it around. And this is also a story about how to be yourself and how to not let other people decide who you're going to be. And... It's basically about coming out and facing your truth um, with faith. Um, 
and without faith. And we see Florence and Clayton go on this journey. Um, this book came to me uh, about, I think about two years ago. I was lying in my bed and it um, just I saw this picture of the summer house and how it looks so beautiful from the outside but in the inside there's a lot going on and this is what happens in the book like actually the summer house is kind of a metaphor for what is happening with Florence and Clayton how they look so pretty and polished on the outside but in the inside so, um, a lot of issues are going on, a lot of turmoil is going on, a lot of lying is going on, uh, lying to themselves more than anyone else. Um, and that summer when they're 30, they, they unknowingly get to face the truth about themselves and then it turns into a whole other romantic sweet story. So I hope you decide to read The Soldier and the Stripper. Um, um, I hope you enjoy it. Um, you might want to know where the title came from. I, I always get this question, so I'll just answer it before anyone asks. Um, the t I, w I was struggling what to name this book. Um, because, as I said, I write faith-based novels, so, but when people hear The Soldier and The Stripper, they think of sex, and they think of, there's a bit of that in here, by the way, um, but not too much, um, they think of sex and tawdry and whatever, so, but I... I um, wanted to name it that because, first of all, it would get people to read the book. And then, second of all, I wanted to name it by their titles because um, the, the characters of Florence and Clayton, they, they really they really kind of live by those titles until they come to face themselves and, and uh, it's this whole other sweet romantic story and they go through a lot and it's just a sweet um, story of God's grace and coming out to be who you are and everything like that so I hope you enjoyed reading it like I enjoyed writing it Bye. Take care.